Hello, welcome to Database of the Week. I'm Todd Quinn with the University of Libraries at the University of New Mexico. Today we're going to be covering Social Explorer. This allows you to map data very easily. And on the left side you'll notice there's ways to learn on your own and some other options to show you how it's been used in the past. So with this, there's lots of options here. There's choices on the front page, but we're going to go right into the first option there. You can also map uh, variables on Europe as well, not just the United States. All right, so when you first come in, you'll notice you get a map of the United States and some and one variable right here, population density. But let's change that. And I'm going to select income and let's say less than 35,000. And what you see is the map of the US and by state. But if you zoom in, it starts breaking it down by county, and if you zoom in more, you can get to what we call census tracts, and if you zoom in even more, depending on the variable, you might get to a block. But you'll notice you get a percentage here, so almost 41% of the people that live in this block or this track have an income of less than 35,000. The other thing you can do here, again, you can change the data. The data goes back to 1790, the first US census, depending on the variable. You can also pick different variables. As you can see, there's lots of types of variables here. You can select one, then there's options within. You can compare one map versus another map, side by side. And then you would pick a different variable. So I'm just gonna pick something very easily. And then if you, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And then you'll notice you get the maps are tied together. You can download the maps here as in one image. You can also use this tool and then you can create a report uh, based on census data. You can also annotate the map, putting words on there or lines. So there's lots of options here for you to use this tool to get a quick visual of data across the United States among other areas. This is a great tool for asking questions and discovering questions to ask.